Thanks for staying with us. We're continuing to join the fight against breast cancer right here at News 13 and help you by providing some life-saving information about this disease that claimed the lives of thousands of women and men every year. More than 42,000 women will die from breast cancer in 2024. That's according to the American Cancer Society and more than 2,700 men. And joining me right now is Melissa Bradley, a nurse practitioner of McLeod Oncology and Hematology Associates at Seacoast. Ms. Bradley, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. Absolutely. So Ms. Bradley, how can someone lower their risk of breast cancer? Um, some things that you can do to prevent your risk of breast cancer would be if you are a smoker, most definitely try to stop smoking. Um, it's a very unhealthy habit, but it's, it is hard to kick, but that would definitely decrease your risk. Mm -hmm. um, also decreasing your alcohol intake if you're a heavy drinker. Um, healthy lifestyle choices, exercising, maintaining a healthy diet, um, trying to keep your weight under control. And also if you're a woman of childbearing age, it's also known that breast cancer can help decrease your risk as well. All great tips right there. Thank you so much for that. And what are the chances of actually surviving breast cancer? Because we hear this, these miraculous survivor stories of people that, you know, go through the chemo and they actually come out on top. So talk about that. Yes, yeah, so as far as cancer, research and technology has came a very long way. Um, so I know normally people hear cancer and they get nervous, um, yeah. but there's definitely things out there. Mm -hmm. um, so when you normally talk about your survival, normally you hear that talked about in like a five year span. So if your disease is localized to your breast, then normally you would have a 97% 97% survival rate yeah. um, for over five years. Um, if it has, you know, spread, but it's still Re, you're still in that area, mm -hmm. um, then you're, it goes down to about 78%. And if it has spread to any of your distant organs, um, you know, liver, lung, anything that's distant, then that sur survival rate does decrease down to about 23%. All right, Ms. Bradley, thank you so much. We're out of time. But right now, we have experts and doctors from McLeod Health on hand right now and other medical experts ready to answer your questions. All you have to do is call that number directly on your screen and you can speak with an expert right now. Edward and Trish, back to you. And at